Installed during the summer of 2023, the Mid Valencia pilot consists of the city's first center running protected bikeway, a new curb management plan, and various pedestrian safety improvements. Approved for 12 months, the pilot is a way to address short term traffic safety needs that support the longer term Valencia bikeway improvements project. The pilot aims to improve safety for all who travel on Valencia Street while ensuring the movement and access of goods and people on Valencia between 15th and 23rd streets. This video provides information on how to navigate Valencia Street with the new safety measures installed, such as the center running protected bikeway and several new traffic regulations that are part of the pilot design. Let's dive in. Traffic regulations. No vehicle left turn or U-turns. With the new center running protected bikeway, vehicle left turns and U-turns from Valencia onto side streets are no longer permitted. Vehicles traveling northbound and southbound may only proceed straight or turn right onto cross streets. Please pay attention to all traffic signs posted on poles and on traffic signal mass arms at the intersection. Traffic regulations. Don't block the bikeway. Vehicle parking, loading, or driving in the bikeway is strictly prohibited and endangers the safety of all road users. Please keep the bikeway safe and never enter the bikeway with your vehicle. Please use any available parking or loading zone near your destination to stop or load. How to navigate the bikeway. Accessing mid-block destinations. To access mid-block destinations, users of the center running protected bikeway have two options. Option one, user may travel to the end of the block and access the sidewalk by the way of the crosswalk. Bicyclists should dismount at crosswalks. Option two, a person on a bike may exit the bikeway in the middle by using one of the gaps. Proceed with caution and watch for vehicles traveling through. How to navigate the bikeway. Turning onto cross streets. To turn onto a cross street from the center running protected bikeway, users should utilize the bike boxes in the intersection. For a left turn, a user enters the furthest bike box to their right in the intersection, waits for the green light for the cross street, then proceeds straight onto the cross street. For a right turn, a user pulls into the bike box closest to their right at the intersection. They would then wait for a green light and proceed through onto the cross street. How to navigate the bikeway. Emergency vehicle access. When responding to emergencies, emergency vehicles such as fire trucks and ambulances may need to use the bikeway. Emergency vehicles are allowed to access the bikeway and use it as a fire lane. During these circumstances, people bicycling or scooting along the bikeway should pull over to the side of the bikeway along the rubber curb and buffer area and wait for the emergency vehicle to pass. How to navigate the bikeway. Transitioning between curbside bikeway to center running bikeway and transitioning between blocks along the center running bikeway. At the terminus points of the center running protected bikeway at Valencia and 15th Street and Valencia and 23rd Street, people bicycling or scooting should use the bicycle signal to safely transition between the curbside bike lane south of 23rd Street and the curbside protected bikeway north of 15th Street. People on bikes at either of these points must wait at the intersection for a green bike light before proceeding straight through and entering the center running protected bikeway. The same is true when exiting the center running protected bikeway onto the curbside bike lane. Bikeway users should only proceed through on a green bike light. Along with the center running protected bikeway and pedestrian safety improvements, the pilot is accompanied by a new curb management plan. This plan aims to manage demand for the curb as efficiently as possible and aims to eliminate double parking by emphasizing short-term active loading over long-term car parking during business hours. Overnight on-street parking is still available at most spaces within the pilot area. Many of the loading zones are now dual use, which means the type of loading allowed changes throughout the day to meet the different needs along Valencia. Six-wheel truck loading is intended to accommodate 
large trucks making commercial deliveries, usually during morning hours. During the afternoon or evening hours, acceptable forms of loading will then switch over to accommodate any vehicles actively loading, including regular sedans as well as parcel trucks or vans for a variety of deliveries at the same curb. Most dual use zones become general loading zones after 12 p.m. or 6 p.m. Check the posted restrictions before walking away from your vehicle to avoid a parking ticket. Established in 2021, general loading zones are a relatively new type of curb regulation in San Francisco. Any vehicle may be parked or actively loading at general loading zones for up to five minutes. General loading zones were created to help facilitate different types of vehicles accessing the curb for short-term loading of passengers or goods. For more information on this pilot or the overall Valencia Bikeway project, please visit sfmta.com forward slash Valencia.